Allah grant us ease. We face heartbreak because then when people see the real we, the real us, they turn away. Oh, I didn't even know that's what you look like. Subhanallah. No, let them not judge you by your looks. In fact, let them love you for who you really are. Learn to love yourself and others will love you. Haven't you seen people walk about everywhere and they don't mind what they look like? Those are role models. I don't mean don't be neat and clean. Be neat, dress properly, prim, prop, smell good, look good. Yes, but you can't change your identity. You need to be happy. You might be big built. Alhamdulillah, love yourself. You might be petite and small. Alhamdulillah, love yourself. You might have a long nose, a flat nose, thin lips, big lips. Love yourself. That is actually strengthening your heart. That's what it is. We're talking about healing the heart. The reality is your heart will not heal correctly when you haven't even loved the way Allah made you. He chose for you your identity. Ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem. O man, what has deceived you against your own Lord? The one who created you, he fashioned you, he gave you whatever you have, your identity, your posture, your standing, who you are. How can you be deceived against him? He's your Lord. He made you. So learn to love Allah and the way he made you. I was talking about that remembrance of Allah. It's not going to benefit Allah. It's going to benefit you. Your scale, your heart will be cleansed. It will be purified. The jealousy that people have, that's a quality of the heart. But what's more important is to purify your heart from being a show off because you are inviting jealousy. That's also very important. You see the difference? One is, oh sister or oh brother, why are you so jealous? Well. Why are you showing all this to me? You're flashing everything, mashallah. You know, when we were young, we used to make sure we were covered properly, go to school, mashallah. I used to wear these three quarter shorts and we used to go to school with a top and a blazer. One of my friends, uh, childhood friends is seated right in front, mashallah. And we went to school wearing a blazer and whatever else. And we were happy about it. Later on, there came a generation where you had to show people the tag on your undies on your underwear. You have to show them a tag. So it had to stick out from the back. Levi's. Wow. Jean-Pierre. What do they say? Pierre Cardin. Something sticking out the side here. Come on, relax. Relax. Because people must know, oh, this guy's got designer undies. Designer undies. Designer. Do not become enslaved by what you found on earth. You can afford it. Alhamdulillah. Have it. Use it. Make use of it. Enjoy it. But don't show off because that is going to call or it's going to bring about the jealousy of the people without even you having asked for it. And what will come about is something known as the evil eye. What's the evil eye? When people arrive at such a level of awe or astonishment by what you have that they don't even remember Allah. They don't even relate it to Allah. You see something you love, mashallah, tabarakallah, or Allahumma barik lahum, or lahu, or laha. You're supposed to pray for blessings for that person. Tell me, you see someone flashing with their sunglasses and their Porsche or Ferrari or whatever else it may be, little Bugatti, mashallah, and you see them flashing and looking at you. Are you going to say, mashallah, Allahumma barik lahu? Or are you just going to look and say, hmm. Tell me, what would happen? Chances are the way it's done that mashallah won't come out and if it does it's by the way Like how we say inshallah at times for free <laughs> Someone says are you going to come say inshallah inshallah means no, I'm not going to come It depends how you're saying it you say inshallah. I'll be there. You know three o'clock I'm going to that means yes, I'm coming but if someone looks and say inshallah That means I'm not coming. You know, it means I'm not coming So the same way you look and say mashallah that means I'm jealous of this guy badly we say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, Allahumma barik, Allah grant you goodness, man. I'm happy for you, man. MashaAllah, you've made it. 